can't believe I got this all to myself right now. Literally on top of the world. If you ever wanted to see what weather systems do when they run into the Appalachian Mountains, there you go. Pigeon Forge. Way down there. Well, morning folks, in the Smokies, and it's raining, surprise, surprise. Going back up Allen Cave Trail again, did it last year, this time we're going to stay up there at the shelter, at least try to. It was nice yesterday, it's not so nice today, it's supposed to get pretty cold tonight, so this is gonna be an interesting hike and <laughs> we'll see what happens see what I get into well we made it to Arch Rock that step that goes up through a hole in the rocks well there's definitely deja vu here Did this very same thing a year ago today. Went up through a hole in the rocks. 6,500 foot mountain. Of course, we hadn't started that low, but I think it's about a 3,000 foot climb from trailhead I started at to up to the top. Made it okay last year. I've been hiking up here the past few days. Hope I hadn't worn myself out. Oh, I remember these steps up to Alum Cave. Whew. Well, Alum Cave is really socked in this morning. I just sat down to take a little break. Haven't been filming much because we've been socked in the whole time. It's been kind of slippery, so I've been taking my time. A little, little bit more dangerous than last year, but... Uh, we got about a mile to go. Well, finally made it to the lodge. But we're going to set the shelter, which is up that away a piece. And I think I'm going to go on up there. I got a little water left. I can always come back and get some more. Well, we'll look around a little bit. Got an upper bunk and a lower bunk. And I may just try that upper bunk. These things have mice, so if you're worried about them, you're probably out of luck. Fireplace is plugged up. They don't allow any fires anymore. People are destroying the timber around here. It's always somebody messes up something. There's my pack, and uh, I towed it a lot of more weight than I ever have before, but uh, spending the night you have to, and it's supposed to get cold. Yep, bears. And there's the bear cables. Horse food bag up on those cables. Keep it away from the bears. down here in the sun while well, I still can. I need a bite. The sun feels warm. Tuna salad burrito.
that fish flavor ought to really get the bears coming. I'm gonna get all my eating over with and then hang that bear bag up and try not to have any scent around here while I'm sleeping. They're almost 6,500 feet up. If we get a chance, we'll look around a little bit. I wanna go to cliff tops and some other places up here that I didn't get to see last year. You climb up here in a one day deal, you, you stay for a little while and then you gotta get right on back down. But we don't have to leave till tomorrow now. The gift shop. I gotta get a t-shirt. I didn't last year, forgot. The only way you can get one of these t-shirts is to climb up here and get it. You have to earn it. All the people that uh, got this lodge started might tell you a little bit of history about it. But they did this, and I believe it, this fellow right here, Paul Adams. I think he started bringing dignitaries up here to uh, get them to make a park out of this. See how beautiful it is up here on the cot. Well, I just cameled up with some water. It's supposed to get down to 20 degrees tonight, so they're gonna cut the water off up here at the lodge so it don't freeze. Get on back and get ready to go to cliff tops. See if we can get some nice sunset pictures. That's why I'm here. It was clear for a while, and now the lodge down there is just socked in. But uh, we're a mile up in the air, so who knows? It's still a couple hours for sunset, and we'll go wait it out. It's going to get cold, but I got some gloves and a nice toboggan to put on my head. All right. Well, a little bit of a climb to get up here. One thing about the Smokies, that you can change really quick. They create their own weather, really. If you ever wanted to see what weather systems do when they run into the Appalachian Mountains, there you go. I can't believe I've got this all to myself right now. Literally on top of the world. Clouds are going by because most of them are below us. Look at that. You can fully understand the force of nature when you sit up in a place like this. Pigeon Forge, way down there. You can see in almost every direction from up here. Well, it's amazing how quick the people cleared out after the sun came up. I mean, it's still beautiful up here. Well, I'm going to sit down and enjoy the solitude for a few minutes, and I'm going to head on back to camp. Dome. 
way up there. If you had a pair of binoculars, you can see the observation tower up there. That's a high spot in the Smokies. About 50 foot higher than the mountain that we're on. That reflection down there, that is Newfound Gap, the parking lot. Right there in the middle of the screen, that is light off a of windshield of the car. It's way down there at Newfound Gap. Isn't that something? Worth the trip up here to Mount Lacan at Myrtle Point. It sure was. You can stop about anywhere and just see almost the entire Smokies. It's cold up here though. This place here is actually the summit of the mountain called High Top. And you can see there's a rock carn people kind of built because uh, it's only like 50 feet shorter than Cleveland's Dome, so they I guess they think they can pile a bunch of rocks up and make this the tallest mountain. But you can see this, the whole car and people are building there. I think this is called Apollo Ridge. We ain't even got back to camp yet. It's just a long way on the con. Around the Kant Lodge. There's the llama train. This is how they get supplies up to the Kant Lodge. They come up about three times a week up Trillium Gap Trail. They used to use mules, but these llamas are a little bit less intrusive on the environment. Well, there's the Tennessee Valley down here below the lodge. Boy, I hate to be getting back. This would be somewhere I could stay. But all good things have to come to an end. Got me a t-shirt. Prove I've been up here. The only way you can get them is climb up here. Well, been there, done that. Got the t-shirt. Headed back down. Now I get to meet all the people coming up and tell them they don't have much further to go. It's quite an experience. It sure is. We get to go back through what we call the Enchanted Forest first. I remember this from last year. I'll remember this one too. Well, the good thing about it is downhill now. So it'll be easier than yesterday. I tell you what, having COVID made a difference. I had to exercise for this all this year because they knew how rough it was last year. But I did better last year. I made it. That's what counts. Challenge yourself. That's what makes life worth living. This is probably the most photographed part of the trail on Elm Cave. Got cables here. It is a drop off. Not as dangerous as it looks. All you got to do is just get into the view. 
You don't want vertigo here though, but it's it's not too bad. We're coming up on a spot I have never mentioned hiking up here. This rock. I think it's called Gracie's Pulpit. Had a really good view. That's actually where we came from. He used to make a big circle. But uh Gracie McNichols, very important person here and, and, and interesting. Started hiking this until she was 62 years old. And this was one of her favorite places. Yep, she got up here for her first time. And when she was 62, she fell in love with it. And she ended up hiking Leconte 244 times. Can you believe that? She was 90 years old, I believe, when she made her last hike. So there's hope for us old folks. Sure is. Amazing woman. Look her up. She's something else. Gosh, I hate to leave this place. Ah, the needle. Probably can't see it too good and the zoom on this is not very good. But it's right in the middle. And strange. I've done shed some layers of my shirt sleeves rolled up cold up there but it isn't down here weather changes this much elevation i learned a lot about carrying a pack that has a lot more weight in it because of spending overnight you got to have food and shelter it's funny how you can be real tired and then you see the end in sight get within say a half a mile of the trailhead and get a second wind <laughs> i'm ready to get back now but I'm going to sign off here, I think, instead of crossing the bridge like I did last year. And I'm glad y'all came along, and I appreciate y'all watching. And if the good Lord's willing, and the creeks don't rise, we'll see you so long.